morning guys hope all is well the tri-spark electronic ignition unit has arrived from colorado norton works so just going to unpack it and then start preparing the bike for the upgrade very nice unit there i won't touch that until we need to there it is looks great Parts and the instructions. Gonna start by disconnecting the battery. Couldn't have got to those heads otherwise. Yeah, it's, you know. So the socket certainly won't go over them. Yeah. Because this bracket's in the way, and it's got a um, captured nut underneath as well, so it should be reasonably easy right. to put back on. Okay, good. <laughs> so we're just going to take the whole lot off. Okay, that's that. Put that to one side. And after that, I think it should be just unplugged wires. All right, it's the top one, white at the bottom. I'll just go to the other side. So is it gonna come out or? Uh, there are some other wires underneath. I sort of expected there'd just be one, one harness that plugs in all that. Yeah, but there's the wires underneath as well. Oh yeah, here we are. Does it matter in which? Where they are, because this is coming out, yeah, and this is coming out. See, all of those, all of that's got to be disconnected anyway. Okay. Um, so just unplug them, and like I said, I, I'm pretty sure, <laughs> I'm pretty sure we can figure it all out. Uh, we'll okay. actually be, it'll be a much simpler arrangement. Yeah, just, oh, white and black here, and yellow yeah, and matter. black there. Oh, it doesn't matter. No, it doesn't matter. There's actually two capacitors in that little blob, and then there's the ground connection. The, the ground, yeah. Yeah, and you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's a heavy weight. Yeah, yeah. Well, the coils are, are heavy. Yeah, so now a lot of these connections won't be used it's because it's a much simpler arrangement. Yes, I will. Put it in a plastic bag with the capacitor and the resistor. For someone else. Oh, I just still got the advanced mechanism to Yeah. This comes with two threads, I guess this one. Fly off the end. 
and hit the gas tank on one of my other bikes. And there's no oil in there, that's good, no. because this, there's a seal here. Oh yes, I see. That's the end of the can, shall Yes, I? yes, right. You put use that tool, don't you, to put yeah. this cover yeah. back that on. That seal goes bad. Yeah. That little knob that's, with, that's the, uh, with the electronic ignition, it doesn't matter if you get oil in there anyway. Okay. There's, it does if there's points, it will foul the points. Oh, there we go. That's what they're saying. Okay. Pull it down. So, there. yeah, we should be able to slide this 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 wire here. See, it just it's yeah. there. But we might have to slide it down through okay. these. Yeah, that should work. Yeah. That just gives yeah. that a little bit and more. There's plenty at this end. So Yeah, great, great. And we'll pull back through if there's any excess. So maybe pull it enough through that there's a little bit extra. So maybe we'll, we'll just put that to the side for the moment. We can see how it all moves. And let's fit the unit. And then we'll make the wires as long as they need to be. Yeah, it's moving, Jeff. I mean, that's... 80 would be that much. Oh, okay. So well, that's yeah. all right. When we come to put the, the terminals on, yeah, we'll cut the yellow one back so that the yellow and the white are both the same length. Yes. So if this is 80, we're about there. So where we're at the end there, yeah. about there, right? Yeah. So I'll chop those both here. Yeah. Okay. I'll turn the wheel on. Why don't you stop there? Right? Yeah, that's, that's, I think that's, I can do it. no, I think that's close enough. You come and have a look. It's about 29 and a half. Because we're adjusting anyway. This is only approximate right now anyway. So the unit goes behind there, behind that wire, and then center it so that the holes for the pillar bolts are about center on those slots. About there, and I take a marker and look for this point B here and reference it here. And that's where the magnets are going to line up. So let me just check which the right thread is. It's not that one. Yeah, that's good. Insert that. And line one of those magnets up with that mark so that we're close. And you don't quite see it on the camera, but that is lined up. It's close. And that's that. Yeah. I can see that it's got good clearance. Yeah, it is. It's about two, three. Yeah. So I'm just going to grab onto this and pull it back and forth. I don't feel anything. Yeah, different. nothing there. Probably what happens is sometimes there's too much end float in the camshaft and then you could do this measurement, but it might slide forward. and Because and, I think what they're worried about is this thing hitting the back here. Yeah. Yeah, you're just going to snug those up because we're going to have to slide it around to set the timing. Okay, so it's centering this one, not so much this one, but the B is lined up there, so right. that's that. Okay, and I'm going to strip these now. That's the wires cotton. Okay. So I'm just mounting it in there, you, and then we're going to feed it in, and we'll feel the insulation hits the bottom of the hole. Wow. Great. I think that's good. Yeah, terrific. Okay, we're doing yeah. another one? Yeah. You want me to do that other one? Yeah, oh, you yeah. can do the other one. Sure. But, so, yeah. the, the, what, what I do is position this in the tool and you want to make sure that one of the blades, see there's the little metal piece in there that's going to fold yes. over. Yes, yes. So, you want to make sure you get that. So you push it all the way in and you'll feel it 
like bottom just out. gently and it bottoms out and then you do it and then you crimp it okay thank you all right so i'll hold that and it takes quite a force to get it fully compressed oh i see why you took your hands off because yes. Wow, that took a ton of force, that. <laughs> it really did. Yes. Yeah. And then you got to pick it out. Yeah. Swish it. I was like, why can't you just do it one-handed? Yes, <laughs> yes. yeah. One of those it's machines. Still, my tool, I think, has yeah. longer. It's the leverage here. Yeah, that's this tight. This tool's got uh, short little handles on it. <laughs> and I've got short little hands, so that yeah. doesn't help. The, the double check is you give it a good tug and make sure it's not moving. Yeah. But. In theory, what we've done now is we've got the, the metal compressed hard onto the wire and we've also compressed around the insulation here yeah. so that it provides Great. support for it. Great. And I think that's better than... If we soldered it, we'd have to put heat shrink or something yeah. over there to support the wire back from the join. Excellent. Terrific. And they didn't solder these. These are crimped. And you can yeah. see how... They, well, you can actually see these ones, how it's done. There's the metal first crimp actually makes the connection and then this crimp is, yes. is grabbing onto the yes the insulation okay terrific and i'm just mounting this one to the top pillar bolt okay doesn't work very well if you just make sure the ears are overlapping each other so that they don't butt together you know one folds over the top of the other one there you go okay looks good yeah we're planning to do is that this, this one's going to go on here and that one's going to go on to there. Great. There's a simulator. We'll go back in the spring now. Hopefully it will. It probably will slide in easier than coming out. Depends on the... Yeah. It did. Yeah. black and white here goes to this terminal here yeah all right and either one of those two there's two terminals there all right and then the black and yellow oh that's the one that goes off to power we don't connect that yet and then the other one we had to deal with was there was the ground wire and we were going to put it onto this terminal on that spade so okay so that's that's the ground connection there. That, okay, from here, yes. Yeah, this wire here originally went direct to there. Okay. So what we're doing now is we're putting it onto there and that's a double connection and then it's following on through to here. So ultimately it ends up in that same place. So the connection, the end result is exactly the way it was. And here we're connecting the black yellow with a made up wire to the blue white which is the power or ignition wire all right i'm going to go all the way back in the slot and then ever so slowly go forward until the light comes on I haven't got the ignition on. Oh, <laughs> I was going to say, don't tell me you screwed it up again. <laughs> all right, so we put it all the way back, anti-clockwise, and then we move forward clockwise until the light goes on. Oh, 
There we are. I'm just going to go back and do that again. There. And then nip that. No, doing it one more time. Hold that, nip it, nip it. That's our starting point, isn't it, for the timing. How centered is it in the slot? Uh, mm, it's a little over to this side. All right, it's more it. centered here. It doesn't have to be yeah. centered. As long as we've got all it comes down to, as long as you've got enough range, adjust. Yes, there's range. Yes. Yeah, yeah you go both ways a little bit. Now, if we rotate the engine until the light comes on, hopefully let's just do it. Yeah. And snug that up. Yes. I'll, I'll spin it over if you want to watch. Go watch the timing mark. Yeah. Okay. This time it should come up, come out a little closer than we were before. Because if we're going to put a timing light on it, there's going to be probably more yeah. adjustments. But right now, I think our goal is to now yeah. run the motor. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. So I think after all that, we I think we're close. <laughs> Flooded. Ignition on. Lights on. 